Hello everybody, my name is Dude, welcome back to Panzer Models! We went to the lobby of the Onsen Hotel, and all around you the atmosphere reflects a modern interpretation of the Japanese, of the traditional Japanese style. Does it? It looks like a hotel to me. Like a really r fancy hotel that you'd probably never be able to afford in your life. Young woman behind the check-in counter smiles at you softly and gives a polite bow as your group approaches. The still, serene sound of water flowing puts you at ease before you have to pee. Oh. And Panzer flips out. Oh my gosh! It's so kawaii! No, it, it... Panzer, can you stop? No one says that. The rest of your group cringes in unison. Okay, cool! We're in agreement. The one behind the counter gives you a look of understanding. <laughs> Even the woman behind the counter gets it. Is this your first time visiting us? Yes, we're with the tank school group. Oh, perfect! We already have you three, your three rooms set up, and the onsen is just per the perfect temperature today. That's great, let's drop, uh, drop off our bags and... Wait, three rooms? Of course, two people to a room, like normal. Oh, so I guess I'm bunking with... Oh... I don't want to, but for the sake of this, I probably should. Panzer IV. Bunking with you then, Panzer? Well, well I, that, that's... From behind, a voice soft yet still filled with the rage of a thousand ruck marches whispered. <laughs> oh, I think I know who this is. Yep. Unfortunately not, recruit. Well, <laughs> Sergeant, don't... God, don't scare me like that. Do... <laughs> Do not raise your voice in an onsen. Have you ever seen a goddamn anime recruit? No, Sergeant. I haven't seen one with an onsen in it. Well, then you're in for a shock, recruit. Now hurry up and get your ass changed so we can relax. Right away, sir. I have to hurry up to relax. What sort of trip is this? A bad one. A very, very awkwardly bad one. You head to your assigned room, change into your swimsuit, and wrap a towel around your waist. Shortly afterwards, you make your way down the hallway to the onsen itself. I'm gonna take a guess and say I end up in the woman's... And this is gonna be a lot of fan service. To the left, it leads outside and the cold chill of the night air wafts into the hallway. Before you can reach the curtain, though, you bump into the rest of your group. Why? Erwin, what are you doing here? Well, I thought we were all going to the onsen. It's gender specific. We're not. So, yeah, it's got. It's not mixed bathing. Okay, why not? Isn't it just a hot pool? Uh, Erwin, guys bathe on the other side. Oh, sorry then. But like, why is? It... God, Erwin, stop staring. Just go to your side. Right. It's because everyone's naked. How are we that dense? How are we that? How is Erwin that? De God. Well, make your way around to the other side and step outside in the onsen area and it's entirely empty. Except for the sergeant who's already lounging in the water in full uniform. Why? <laughs> okay. Oh, what the hell? Get on in here, recruit. The water's fine. <laughs> okay. Right, Sarge. Take your towel off before stepping in, and the sergeant begins to hoot with laughter. <laughs> God damn it, recruit. Don't you know? No bathing suits in the onset. What do you mean, sergeant? It's nude bathing, recruit. Dude, what does that mean? All of them under the towel? Yeah. Hell, sergeant, if you're, you're still in full uniform, though. Recruit, once you wear the uniform for long enough, it just becomes a second skin. That makes absolutely no sense. And also hints at the fact that you're probably naked the whole time. Like, the hat is your hair, and everything else is your skin, and you've basically just been walking around town and everywhere naked. Don't know if that's kinky or not. You know, Kurt, those tank girls are just over that wall there. Yeah, Sergeant. If I sat on your shoulders, I could probably see over. I guess I should be thankful you kept the uniform on, Sergeant. That's beside the point. Do I have to order you? This is wrong on so many levels. And plus, I don't think that qualifies as lawful order. God damn it, recruit, your skivvies are so far up your ass I can see them when you walk. When you talk. 
Well, let's at least stick our ears up to the wall and listen. God, I'm getting out. Suit yourself, recruit. I'll have all the fun myself. Right. I'm just gonna get out now and go away and never think of this again. You get out of the hot springs and dry yourself off as you want. Back down the hallway to your room. God, this such, I'm such a pervert. How the hell do you get a teaching job anyway? By being a hard ass, I'm sure. Once in your room, you get changed back into your normal clothes and make your way towards the lobby. Cool, what are, what are we doing in the lobby? Maybe I should find one of the girls. Or I could try and find some dinner in town. I'm sure there's something to eat in this tourist trap. Eh, yeah, let's explore the- well, let's save first in case I die or something horrible. Uh, save right over here. And we'll explore the tent. Yeah, they can enjoy their little girls-only bath. I'm gonna see what's up in town. Probably the best idea ever, since we're not gonna run into anyone changing or naked. Because it's not this, that kind of channel. You walk into the cool, crisp mountain air of the sauna town. The sound of running water from the nearby stream mixed with the wind howl howling down from the... Blowing down, fuck. When blowing down from the nearby mountain makes for a relaxing melody, and it makes you want to pee a little bit. Continue down the hill from the onsen towards the town itself. And what do we find? The warm yellow glow cast by light from a multitude of traditionally themed Japanese restaurants lights up the streets. And the relaxing night theme seems almost perfect until you hear... Well, my word! I can't believe you people don't accept pound sterling. Man, this is Japan. It'll be yen and dollars only. Oh, you'll take that. You take that colony money, but not the queen's own. Miss the. Unacceptable! Great. She's a bitch. And a dumb bitch at that. What on earth? Ugh. I guess I should step in. You draw nearer to the commotion, try to intervene. Why? I hope we're not doing it nicely, because this is totally not a nice situation. She's being a bitch. We should probably be a bitch back. Just to speak her language, you know what? Excuse me, is everything alright? Oh, thank heavens, another English speaker. Can you please tell this man I only have pounds sterling? You didn't bring any yen? What'd you buy anyway, miss? I'm super heavy tank tog too, but you can call me tog or your highness if it pleases you. I think I'll just stick with tog. And anyway, what did you want buy? Little lady here ate 20,000 yen worth of sushi. Holy b holy shit. And the nerve of this man to tell me the queen's own isn't good here. This is Japan shit. For now at least, dear. For now. Can't you go exchange your pounds for yen at the hotel? Well, it's... You see, you don't have the money, do you? No, it's like sort of lost my purse and then I got hungry. And be you didn't want to find your purse first? Because that's sort of a th You ate $200 worth of sushi? I'm a super heavy tank, and it's not proper to criticize a lady's choice of dining. It's proper to criticize your, cho your life choices, though, because you want to find your purse and wallet and stuff before you go out into the place to eat food of the gods. Holy shit, I want sushi right now. I want a lot of sushi right now. Right, and... Uh, oh, she's on. Can she work it off? Well, it doesn't look like I'm getting paid. Alright, fine. If she can work off her debt here, bef washing them dishes in the back. Work? It's a little more than a chambermaid. Oh, no, no, no. I will have none of that. If y'all don't pay off your debt, I'm calling the police. Fine, but he has to help me. Wait, no, I don't. No, I don't. I really don't. Oh, how American, leaving a poor damsel in a strange land, on her lonesome to slave away from the cruel... But the cruel... She pouts. Yeah, that, that, that's totally me. Why are we not doing that, Erwin? Erwin, no, don't... F <sighs> Fine, let's do it. It's better than spending the rest of my evening with a gunny anyway, I guess. Right, y'all best start right away. The kitchen's in the back. Get cracking. I su sure. God, I've been spending too much time with a sergeant. A little bit. 
Now what the hell are we doing? And why are we here? You and the Tog 2 spend the next hour in the back of the restaurant cleaning dishes. More accurately, you spend the next half hour cleaning dishes while she half-heartedly dries them off. Water is bad for her suspension, or so she claims. Another half hour of working in silence, she looks at you. Um, I'm quite sorry for troubling you with this. If you have somewhere to be, I'm quite certain I can... Cool, I'm out, but uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be nice. Went this far anyway, might as well. Eh, don't worry about it. I can tell you don't really fit in here. I guess you're right. Yeah, I'm, I know I'm right. You, you totally don't fit in here. I don't either, because apparently I'm American as well. But hey, food's food. I don't care. Anyway, I used to cook before the war, so this isn't anything new to me. Oh really? Where was that, dear? You'd laugh, but I worked at this German restaurant back stateside. It was a cool place. We had this real hard-ass German chef as our boss. Oh goodness, that must have been quite a scary job. <laughs> nah. He was just soft deep. He was a softy deep down, but god, he was fun to prank. You pass one of the clean but still soapy dishes to talk. Oh, did you do or oh, what do they call a practical joke? Yeah, that that brings me back. This one time, another cook and I got a, this big order of concentrated orange juice, and we gave came up with the greatest idea. What did we do? Egg yolks. We opened the lid and tossed it in the oven before service started. Say, 20 or 30 minutes later, the whole kitchen smells like burning oranges. And the German chef came in. Looks around confused for a bit before checking the ovens and pulls out the can. And I shit you not. He screams, Who puts the trust in the oven? At the top of his lungs. <laughs> oh my word. She laughs and wipes a tear from her eye. God, good times. So what's you... So what's got you out here in Japan? Pass another dish. Thanks, Seb. Well, I was coming here for a school trip, but we got separated, and I've been lost ever since. Lost? For how long? About three hours now, I'd say. That's a lot less dramatic than you made it sound. Tis not my fault they haven't come looking for me yet. I'm sure once they will once they notice I'm gone. I'm sure they're already looking, because the super heavy tank is hard to miss. Sure, they've already started looking. You really think so? Sure, why not? I don't know. I know I'd be looking all over if I lost someone important to me. Well, it's not like expected or anything. You're quite the charmer, though. Thank you. I don't know what I did. I am what I am, miss. The shopkeeper enters the kitchen as you and Tog finish cleaning off another set of dishes. His sleeves are rolled up now, and as you can see, an intricate dragon tattoo covering the whole of his arms. Alright you kids, y'all have done cleaned enough. Head out. He takes another drag from his cigarette. I guess I'll go home. I go. You got somewhere to stay, little lady? Hey. Well, you see, it's my tour group. Tell them about the, the, their hotel that Toji sent you. They'll set you up with a room. Really? Thank you. Oh, wow. This guy's nice. I mean, I... That's acceptable. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I all scram. I got a meeting to get to. I wonder who he's meeting with. Do I even want to know? Better not be Gunny. I don't know why he'd meet with Gunny, though. This is like some setup where the whole tank school group is coming back for dinner or something after the onsen. He walks back into the dining room and lo starts locking up while you and Tog get through the kitchen door in the back. And what do we do now? Well, Mr. Toji seems scary at first, but I have to say he's quite a sweetheart. There are many things that man was, but sweetheart would not have been my first choice of words. Tog giggles and grabs you by the hand. Awkward moment! I beg to diff... Um, hungry? Mm, yeah. Okay, maybe a little. Let's go get some food. I'll buy. Always the gentleman you are. Um, should I, um, this is getting slightly romantic. Should I not be here? Should I not? Panzer might get mad. Panzer might get very mad. Oh, shit. Well, let's go get some ramen before everything closes for the night. Um, oh, ramen. Ramen sounds good, too. You and Tog walk together further into town, turning down a small side street. You reach a back alley ramen shop. How's this look? 
A bit, shall we say, East Endish for my tastes, but I won't complain much. You better not complain. I'm buying. My payment, my rules. You shut up. You and Tog step inside and sit down at the counter. A few minutes later, two piping hot bowls of ramen are set out for you. Oh boy. Oh boy. Do you want? You and Tog? Seconds. Oh. You just had to appear on the thing. Okay. You know what? They. Ha. You know what they say in Japan before you start to eat? Tog is adjusting your chopsticks, spoon, and napkin into the proper places of a formal dining set. Table set. What? You know these places are basically the McDonald's of Japan. You don't need... A lady always remembers her manners. Oh, eat tadakimasu. Tog spends the next few minutes adjusting your spoon napkin positioning down to a micrometer of perfection. Micrometer? Micrometer? Is it micrometer or micrometer? Ah, whatever. Almost, per almost fit for lunch with the king. King? King George the Sixth. Ugh. Should have expected as much from a colonial. Good heavens. That wasn't what I meant. Sure are behind the times, aren't you? Behind the times? It's God Save the Queen, isn't it? You know, it's God Save the Queen now, right? Queen? Good heavens, dear. You you must be confused. <laughs> Good old King George. Uh, well, at least we were able to bail out the French for two world wars in a row. <laughs> well, the Englishmen and dear American colonials always end up saving the French, don't we? Eh. Yeah. Um. Um. I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Maybe gave the Germans hell. Oh, definitely. If it weren't for the Royal Navy, the Germans would have been able to operate a whole lot closer with the Japanese. I'm glad you see it my way. Well, good! I'm glad? I'm glad I did a thing good? In your eyes? Kinda of not really? I mean, I shouldn't have let this get all romantic. Well, at the end of the day, we can all agree. Germany would have won if it weren't for the valiant efforts of the Italian army. Oh goodness, you're a clever one, are you not? I remember a joke from my time in North Africa, and pardoned me for the crassness. But the boys would always say the Italians can march 20 miles a day into battle and 40 miles a day away from one. Well, I would too. I'd walk 40 miles just to get away from a war. You have a joke like that about the French. Well, maybe you Americans aren't so bad then. Glad you see it my way. I'm finished with my food. You good to go? It's rude to rush a lady, but I do happen to be finished this time. Right. Well, I'll help you get checked in if you need. That would be the most pleasing of things that you would do for me. And hopefully things don't end up getting super awkward between me and Panzer. I was just helping her out. Don't don't be mad, Panzer. It's, it's bad. You and Tog walk up back up the hill to the Onsen Hotel. Don't see Panzer, don't see Panzer, don't see Panzer. Once inside the cool night air is replaced by the warm humid air wafting in the, from the hot springs themselves. Oh, pleasant to see you again, sir. She... shit. She says with a polite bow. Evening, I just need... No, Panzer. Toji said you had a room for me? Toji? Yeah, big dude, tattoos on his arms. To... Yamaguchi don't know? Right, right this way, Miss... Tog, but you can call me Tog, dear. Of course, Togsama. Right this way, Togsama. She says, bowing impertinently before scampering off down the hall. Who the hell is this guy? To service fit for the king himself, she says whimsically before following the receptionist. Come along, dear, she shouts after you. I already have a room. Jeez, I'm never gonna get any R and R here. I don't need a room. I've got my own and stuff. A few minutes of waiting for Tog outside of a room, she appears in her towel. Why? Why? Are you supposed to change in the springs? Why? 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 Well, Erwin, hmm? this place really does look just like a ho hotel to me. I mean, where are the springs? Well, it's more of a bathhouse, really. Japan has this weird thing for communal bathing. How decadent! Please tell me if there is a ladies' quarter. Yes, there is. Yeah, it's right around here. Follow me. Oh, God. No panzer, no panzer, no panzer, no panzer. No panzer, no panzer! 
Let me talk to the bathhouse over to the other side. Panzer, no panzer. It's very, shall we say, minimalist. It's a traditional Japanese hot springs. What were you expecting? A portrait of the queen? Well, I don't see why not. His Majesty's face brightens every wall. This is Japan. Not everything has to have the King of England, or the Queen, or the US President, or the Dictator of North Korea, or Cuba, whatever. And I thought the English weren't ones for patriotism. Always happy to surprise you. Well, nonetheless, why not the Japanese Emperor, then? Don't you think it's in poor taste? Well, that too! I don't see why not. Hirohito can't be all bad, dear. Please don't say that out loud here. We Englishmen go far back with the Japanese. We're on quite good terms. One might even say we built the fleet they used to attack- Oh god, no. I'm an American, remember? Oh, sore spot, of course. My apologies, dear. Well, I guess I should probably head over to my side. See you later, Tog. You too, dear. And away from the naked ladies! Awesome! Head back to the men's side of the hot springs and quickly settle into a comfortable spot on the edge of the water. No gunny, no, no more than a few short moments later, you hear Tog shout from the other side of the gender-dividing wall. Ah! Tog? Hey, are you alright? No answer. Jeez. I thought I was gonna get a chance to finally relax. Guess I should check on- No, you should not! No, you should not. You put on your towel quickly and rush over to check on Tog. Oh god, no. No, 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 Don't go where I think you're going. There better be sensor bars over things if I happen to see it. No. Once you're outside of the door, you just call out, Tog? Silence again. Oh, God. Coming. Oh, no. No, 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 no. So inside and see Tog standing thigh deep in hot spring. I heard a shot and I wanted to... Uh, she noticed you and turns around, her towel barely covering her. Ah, uh, crap. Ah! Word, my word, what are you doing in here? Get out! Oh, God, I'm sorry. You cover your eyes with your hands. <laughs> what were you thinking, barging in here? Thank the Lord, it's only me here. I heard a shout and I came running, I'm sorry. The water was but a little hotter than I expected. Goodness, uncover your eyes, dear. You look like a child when you do that. Are you sure? Light. Oh, good, you're covered now. Great. You uncover your eyes and see that she's holding up her towel across her ammo racks. <laughs> Why are they called ammo racks? This is not the only you who made a mistake today. I never properly thanked you for your help. Why don't I show you a bit of English hospital? Don't! No! It's not appropriate to swear in front of a lady. Fuck no! But I'll forgive you this once. Don't, don't, you... Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. Don't go where I think you're going with it. Oh, God, you're going where I think. How do you have American fighting? No! Why? Why the... Why? You have a nice night in the onsen, in the... <clears throat> with Tog before parting ways. Oh, we... we did... a thing? Well, at least we didn't show it, thank you! Great! Why did we do that? Okay, apparently she was easy. All the tanks line up in the lobby ready for departure at 0900 the next day. I'm gonna save here! And I think I'm done... I think I'm done for now. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And thank you to T. Coward Show for supporting me at Patreon this month. And I'll see you guys in the next video when hopefully things are less awkward. And we try not to get shot by Panzer IV because um, I don't know what happened there. I hope things are not. I hope I'm not going to die in the next episode. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye! Considering this is a game about a pug having a little adventure, getting coins and stuff, and never stopping running, I would imagine this would be a lot less peri- Where was Market Fart thing? I saw Market Fart here at one more point. And... done.